Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain how to draw a use case diagram of a library management system star UML. Before starting this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. So let's get started. Go to models, add diagram, and here we will select the use case diagram. Now, to draw a use case diagram, first we have to add a use case subject. Just click and drag it here very easily. As you can see, the use case subject has been dragged. Now I'm going to write here is the library management system. After this, we have to draw our actors. The first actor that I'm going to draw is the member. Because this is the main member actor that will interact with the library system. The second actor is the librarian. The first use case that we can draw of a member is from here, that is inquiry for membership. When a member visits on an online library managed system or whatever, so what he's going to do is is to inquire for the membership. So we're going to run inquiry for membership. The next use case that we can add is request for book issue. Why? Because the member can request for the book issue. Whatever issue he's having or something, he can just request it for it. So we can write request for book issue. We don't need to drag it because the star UML automatically drags the use case according to the text written inside it. The third use case that we're gonna add is request for book return. This means that for book return, if a member has taken a book and he just wanted to request for it, so he can do it. So this is also a very important use case that you can add. Now, it's very important point that is request for book return can come in two ways. Like a member returned the book at time or a member returned the book later. If he returned the book uh, that exceeds the time, then he had to pay the fine. So what we're going to do is we'll add a use case that is pay fine. If a user returns the book late, then he has he or she has to pay the fine. So we are going to extend it because extend means it is optional. So just extend it to here because it's optional. Include means it's mandatory, but extend means it's optional. So the last use case that connects with the member is search book user needs to search a book so this is the most important because he'll first search the book and then he'll buy it or take it okay of course take it because it's a library management system so next we have to see what performs a librarian so the first use case that we can connect with the librarian is the cancel membership this is important that a librarian can cancel a membership anytime. So this is the important use case. Second use case that we can add is issue membership card. This librarian can issue a membership card to the member. Of course, if the member will have a membership card, then only he or she can take the books and read read them so this is a very important use case so issue membership card is also a very important use case here third use case that we're going to add is we'll just first extend our use case subject so that we can add okay we can just click here uh, we can also go down and easily extend it
yeah, like this. Now the third use case that I'm gonna add is with the librarian, that is issue book. Issue book is a very important use case, of course, when a member wants to make a book. So the librarian's responsibility is that he's going to issue the book. The fourth use case is return book. Okay, so you'll take the book that is being returned by the member. And this use case is extended, can be extended as if the member has returned the book late, then the librarian will charge its charge the late fine or return the fine. Okay, so this is the use case. You can charge late fine. Once the member returns the book late, so he can, the library can charge a fine. So this is also optional because it depends. If the member returns the book at the time, so he's not gonna get the fine, but if he returns it late, then he will be charged a fine. So it being extended. The one more use case is update member details. Of course, the librarian can update the member details if the member wants to uh, have some updation. So the librarian's responsibility is to update the member details. So this is the use case. One important use case that we have to add is maintain book records. This is a very important use case that you can add here. We can just add it here. What we can do is we can uh, take our library actor here and we can add a use case here is maintain book records. This is a very important use case for a librarian, of course. So we have to add this. Maintain book record. Maintain book records. Uh, can include the three use cases that we'll add is the first is the librarian can add a book if you a new book he can add so this is the first step in maintain book record the second use case is the library can remove a book you can add the remove book use case and the third use case is update the book of course the librarian can update the book and these are mandatory in this maintained book record use cases. So we'll include the include one, as you can see. We can just connect the include with this. Okay. So these are all the important use cases that I've added. Now what we need to do is connect the use cases with the like this because then only will it will be easy for us to understand what a library performs and what a member is going to perform so just going to connect all this and this maintain book record is also connected and, uh, now we also need to connect the member with all this member request for book issue, member request for book return, and member searches for the book. So this is the use case diagram that you can see I have explained you, and it's very easy to understand. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and so that you can view all the latest videos. Thank you.